Hey everybody, Jay Shlansky here from the Fifth Trooper Network. I just want to take a moment to thank you for checking out this show. Did you know that over at thefifthtrooper.com we have tons of other content, including blogs, other podcasts, all kinds of stuff. In addition, if you want access to exclusive content, you can join us on patreon.com slash thefifthtrooper and join at any level and you'll get access to uh, exclusive blog articles, access to our private Discord, and much more. So please, Check us out, and thank you so much for all your support. Welcome to the Notorious Scoundrels, a Star Wars Legion podcast bringing you the latest news, general perspective, and competitive discussion. Hello, and welcome back to the Notorious Scoundrels podcast. I'm Kyle. I'm here with Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, Kyle. Again. <laughs> Santa Claus from our Halloween episode. Thanks, Santa, for joining us again. You're very uh, welcome, young man. <laughs> I hope you talk like this the entire time. I'm going to try. <laughs> um, yeah, so this week, I know that it's still like a couple weeks out for Christmas, um, mm-hmm. but this is going to be kind of our Christmas episode. We're going to just wish list basically some things that would be on our Legion Christmas list. Uh, this is something we've done, I feel like, almost every year at some point. Yes. Yeah. In one um, form or another. Yeah. And there's also an article, by the way, uh, written by our own, our own Austin Miller on the blog where he does this same thing. So. Yeah. If you want to check that out, go to the fifthtrooper.com slash blog and you can check that out. But uh, this will be me and Santa's um, wish list thing. So, and boy, uh, does Santa have a wish list. <laughs> yeah, I've got one too, but I'll try and restrain myself because uh, if I were to list every single thing on my wish list, um, this would be entirely too long of an episode. So, I'm going to try and hit the. Uh, the highlights, the most interesting, um, rather than, you know, like a, okay. every single line item, line by line. This is what I want to see. I'm not going to do points or anything like that. So, um, I, I, uh, <clears throat> I, um, I think that the, uh, controversial statement, I think for Kyle is that, uh, I think the game is in a good place right now and I think no one should touch it points wise and leave it alone that's santa's wish list <laughs> leave the game alone did you see what happened to pax jay i'm santa jay santa <laughs> santa damn, jay damn it kyle <laughs> <laughs> sorry i almost well, made it like five minutes before messing that up i don't know what happened at pax ho 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 uh i mean it you know there were two factions represented in, oh yeah uh, clones right he, here's yeah. my thing and and rebels and rebels, yeah, but here's yeah, most my, mostly clones. Here's my thing, okay, and here's why I say this: nothing has really changed for clones recently, besides the Wookie, the Wookie Battle Force. Okay, but not, but like Mike came up. What was it? A couple months ago, I, this is what I feel like happened. Mike said Yoda gunline, and was like best best ever and then it just all of a sudden everyone started playing clones again and it was like oh yeah they're still good like nothing specifically happened in in the game from a from a top-down game wise it was just that people realized something it was still good and started playing it yeah i mean things are settling i would say uh, yeah and th- there were a lot of changes really in the first like six months of the year between just overt buffs, which at the time they arguably needed, but also a lot of the like CRB and other rules changes have pretty much all benefited clones in various ways. And sometimes like exclusively benefited clones, Mm -hmm. you know, the deflect changes, one of those examples, none of the Republic force users actually have the deflect keyword. They all have their own right masteries, which still work in melee because they're not deflect. So uh, you know, that's like one example where it's a rules change that's not 
exclusively a change to clones but it's one of those things that just like makes everyone else worse except for clones yeah Um, and i guess it wasn't that magically clones turn on because i mean anakin padme has been a thing for a while yeah you know i i also think i was trying to oh oh uh, last week i had isaac pendley on he's a local who's been just like smashing people out here in new york uh i've played him and I think I, I mentioned him on the scoundrels when Mike was talking about the Yoda clones and how much he was getting over cover with hits. And I was like, oh, yeah, I played this guy, Isaac, the, like, you know, so we were talking about it. And I think what happens is. Or what what has happened is that we've had a significant amount enough time without a release now where people are exploring or going back. And and I think what's happened in the past is I think Cody is still very good in Mm -hmm. in clones but he just kind of got bypassed because moff gideon and dark troopers came out like yeah very significantly close to like a month later right and just like we're just we all you me everybody here uh is very much like whatever's the hot thing in the moment or whatever i saw when it packs that's you know now everyone's gonna play there i heard mike on the scoundrels talking about yoda you know and and i i still question things like I don't know that we've seen proper remnant lists. I don't think that we've seen proper uh, Tempest. Like, I think there's, you know, I think there's a lot of lists that like have some validity and could be played. We're just not even seeing them at like, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's worth mentioning that like really the, I would say the best performing, but really the only good performing Empire lists at PAX were Tempest lists. Yeah. You know, there were like two Empire lists in the top 20 and both of them were Tempest. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think Tempest could still be good. Um, I think there's some some unexplored stuff for those others. But I will say, like, if if PAX represents kind of like a settling of where things are, it was the faction balance was yeah probably the worst we've seen this year. So, well, and I think overall, right, we... This game, and I know we're gonna get to our Christmas list. I promise yeah. everybody. I just haven't been here for a while, so it's it's time to talk tactics. Uh, so I I what I think it is is that um, any any time in this game, you give some something an action economy like you do to clones, where they get to share tokens or and and not take that action right of aim or dodge or you know then. They're going to be good because they don't have like action economy is a real thing in this game. And if you're just handing them out to people, uh, yeah, you're going to get good results. Like, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that I think is really interesting mechanically. Um, and I think it's, I think it's okay that it exists. You know, I've, I've seen people, some people were responding to my like PAX top eight, thing where it's like well clones will never be balanced because token sharing is inherently silly and it's like well clones have been balanced yeah at various times during this game it's just you know it takes a little bit more work right when you have scaling potential like that to make sure that you know that yes because it's it's kind of a knife edge like if if you know you've got like a range right and if you push it too far here you know it's going to be too much and if you let it, let it fall too far on the other end then it's right. just not going to be enough yeah. um so it's you know clones have like a narrower narrower error margin in terms of balance than i think the other factions do um i think the juice is probably still worth that squeeze and you know it's been demonstrated in the past that that's like achievable so i wouldn't like throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak uh but yeah you know we can <clears throat> You know, this is a wish list episode. Maybe we can just put a, a sort of ambiguously on the wish list. Maybe we need to figure okay. out a way to scale it back a little bit with clients. I, 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 I have a wish list uh, okay. item right. that kind of affects would affect this. And all right, um, <clears throat> this is a carryover from MCP and 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 Magic the Gathering does this, but you could you could institute like a tournament ban list or like restricted list that would like you know like. Um, I don't know. I, I don't want to pretend like I know 
how that would look and whether or not it would be good. But, you know, I, I think if, you know, you could do something and, and, and do like a restricted list or a ban list where it's like, oh, hey, maybe you can't have Yoda and Padme or something, you know, whatever. I, I, that may be a silly thing because that's not really. But like, you know, whatever that may look like or something strong, maybe that's a wish list. There, there's my Christmas list item. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't. Th I don't know that there's enough. I don't know that there's enough units in Legion yeah. to do that in a way that's like that would feel good. You know, Magic and MCP are two settings where there's just like an abundance of yeah. things. Yeah, that's true. And if you have a ban list in either of those, there's still a plethora of options for you to play. Uh, but if you know, if if in Legion you ban like two commanders from each faction say for example um you know in in republic you ban yoda and anakin right because those are like the two most popular republic commanders you know what does republic do <laughs> <laughs> they can play clone commanders i guess or but, cody but if you did it in a way Rex, so, but like yeah so mcp's got this new format uh for any um amg run events where they basically took all the cosmic monsters all that stuff out of it and it's more like street level heroes yeah. and 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 a lot of it pulled like all the like really strong like crazy combo stuff out of tournament play and and uh they did this neat thing where you have to bring three full 10 man lists to a tournament or 10 people lists and you have to you you pick your first second and third list and during the first tournament, you pay them first, second, and third. But then if you make it to day two, you pay them backwards, where you pay them third, second, first. Um, and it's just an interesting way. I'm not saying Legion should do that, but what I'm saying is you could do a restricted play, <clears throat> you know, where you say, you could say, like, hey, Anakin and Yoda are out, Vader and whatever, are out. you know, you could pick Ahsoka and Cassian are out, like, you, you know, and you go, okay, figure it out. So let's see what that does. You know what I mean? And and you, you could do Wookiee Warriors. You could do, um, you know, a, a Padme Obi-Wan list could be interesting, you know, but I think you'd have to be tactical in it and pick the right stuff to pull so that it's kind of even across all the factions, which is hard to do because they're all very different. But yeah, there might be a way you could do that. Yeah, I think it would just be, I'm not opposed to that idea in principle. I think it would be hard to implement yeah, uh, in, in a way that felt good and effective with Legion, uh, right? Well, well, and I mean the problem is because of the way we, uh, not us, because we we basically buy and paint everything, but the way yeah. some people do things, it's just like I only play clones, I only play this style, of you know, and then it's like, well, that's banned now, and it's like, oh, that, uh, dang, <laughs> that was the only thing I really played. Yeah, that's you know? right. Yeah, yeah, I was a I was a whatever player. You right. Know? I mean, you have people that are like hyper specific and like i'm a um a droid sad player like that's right. what i do i just i run i run a poison droids list and yeah. that's the only list i've run for three years and it's like <laughs> right okay. and then they're like uh those are banned and you're like well that's all now. i do right yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. 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 so but I, I could see a world it might be interesting you know like i don't know i think there's a way uh, I we're probably we don't have enough time or wherewithal to <laughs> work it out in this moment. But I so I, I guess I'll reformat my wish, my Christmas list item to some sort of a. Intentional. Competitive. List. Ruling or something, you know, like a, a restricted list or something. I think that would be interesting. Yeah. Anyways, um, if you could do it right. But yeah. but this game, you know, everything in this game sits on on the edge. So it's like you, you got to do it intentionally and you got to do it smartly. You you just can't you know wind 100%. up and yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Le Legion is a very tightly designed game from a foundational perspective. So which means it's it makes for a great play experience because everything is close all the time or right. you know generally is between two equally skilled players um but it also means that like small changes have big impacts yeah um which is which is good in my opinion um if those changes are made 
with intent and you know sufficient testing and all that but um it can also mean that like bad changes have big bad impacts yeah. instead of small bad impacts. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. um you know it is what it is but yeah i could see a system like that working uh i think it would just be and I think it would be doable. I think it would just be challenging to implement for Legion in a way that people were happy with it. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Right. Um, yep. But I mean, uh, you know, there's been the MCP one. You know, I think the biggest complaint I've heard about that one is the fact that you have to bring 30 models now. And I was yeah. just like amateurs. I was like, yeah, that's just another day for us Legion players. <laughs> like, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like 30 models. That's yeah. nothing. You right. Know. Right. Um, yeah. But uh, so, what's on your uh, Christmas list? Um. So I definitely have some gameplay changes, but I want to save those a bit. Okay. Because uh, those I don't want to get ranty. Um. Sure. So, uh, my first one is a unit. I would love to see Saw Gerrera in Legion. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um. I feel like for Rebels, uh, their faction identity has always been a little awkward, and that they're. There's there's one thing they do great with their faction identity, and that's the hero hammer, for lack of a better term. But basically, like the, you know, just a bunch of plot armor type characters being effective, and that's something that rebels can do successfully. Yeah. Um, but as far as like the rest of the faction, the whole like the dodge faction thing has kind of been a little awkward. Yeah. Um, and really static. I think, in my opinion, you know, when I think of rebels and you think of like guerrilla warfare, you think a lot of movement. Um, you think a lot of like explosives. Yeah. You know. Um, so I'd love to see like a Saw Guerrera commander and maybe even I don't know if you would necessarily need to do a battle force, but you could certainly make this release alongside like an another rebel unit that's more like like saws saws gorillas basically right yeah and and focus them on sort of the sabotage and the movement identities of like that guerrilla warfare where you get you get more free moves mm -hmm. um you know you can do they could do something like with bane tokens where you place yeah uh things on the table that maybe it's an explosive or a booby trap or something and maybe or a it's whole nothing. unit of rebels or a whole unit of rebels, you know. Yeah. I I feel like that there was a missed opportunity to do something like that with Ewoks. Um, you know, Ewoks just kind of became like the melee Zerg faction, and yeah. also dodge tokens. Um, and I, you know, I mean, you have the Ewok Trapper. That's like a thing, and the thing that the Ewok Trapper does is, I guess, a bombardment. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's basically yeah. what log traps is log traps is a bombardment and I, i've always thought that was kind of boring yeah um so i'd love to see something like saw Gerrera, where they just kind of introduce that concept of like sabotage and movement and hiding in a way that is um a little more interesting yeah i like that i like that a lot and i think one of the great things that i i was kind of early on was a little negative about but i've come around is bat battle forces right and you could easily do that through a battle force rules mm -hmm. change right and uh you know hey all you know all rebel troopers have this keyword whatever that keyword is to like you know make them do something you know i think that would be interesting um yeah that's a good one i like that one for me i think a unit uh i would really like to see in the game so we're getting the, forgive me, everyone. I'm sure we're going to get a million comments on this about that. I don't know the names of things, but uh, I know we're getting the the train troopers from Solo, right? Yeah, I would, right. I, I would love, love, love to see the infantry, the the mud troopers. Mud troopers. That's. Yeah. I think they have a different name, right? I think they're, uh, um, but like. I was thinking about this. I, I'm I'm gonna look it up while you're talking. Okay, yeah. I'm curious. Um, I forgot what they're, they're like, like an infantry trooper or something like that. But anyways, um, uh, I would love to see like a white t-shirt, cheaper, like core unit for Empire that kind of, you know, like maybe they're like rep the rebel units and they're a little bit cheaper and they could have some like 
you know, just a core unit that's a little cheaper to to like play with, I think would be cool. Yeah. Uh Imperial Swamp Troopers. Yeah. Um is the official. Or at least so it says formerly known as Imperial Swamp Troopers. So I think you could probably call them mud troopers and it would okay. still be All cars, right. great. But... Yeah, I mean I yeah. like I liked the look of them. I liked the idea that because it never really uh after Clone Wars, it never really made sense to me that like, oh, so they just like const- can you know put in people to be stormtroopers, but like clones were like really elite and the, and I'm like and then after watching Solo and seeing those mud troopers, like, oh, that makes way more sense. Like, yeah, of yeah. course you would have like kind of like a like you know, just a cannon fodder type of unit that just, you know. I so I would love to say I, I know Empire is the rich getting richer, but like you know, that's something I've wanted since Solo. Um, I thought would be really, really cool. Yeah. So if we want to do some Clone Wars factions, so it's not just the rich yeah. getting richer. Um, I would like to see each of them get another operative. Mm. You know, Republic especially only has two operatives, and like it's Padme and R two. And now, yeah. don't get me wrong. Uh, though they're great, especially Padme. Obviously, great. But most operatives for most factions are they at least have access to some kind of like playmaker operative, whether that's force user, that's an operative or a bounty hunter or something like that. And Republic just has none of that. So I'd love to see like a Republic operative that is. Whether that's a force user like Padawan Ahsoka, you know, Mm. that seems like low hanging fruit for that slot Um, or a bounty hunter. You could do the dude that throws his hat whose name is escaping me from the clone wars tv show he he kind of looks like raiden he's got like a hat oh that's yeah, got like I a blade on the side name. yeah um you know he works for the republic in the clone oh, wars yeah. tv show yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh so you know there there are some options there uh and then for for separatists i mean you could do Django fett that seems like an yep, easy one that's an easy one um you could there's another number of other bounty hunters you could do or Singh. Like she's already in Shatterpoint. Yeah, I mean, it's. Um, I was gonna say it's wild how much stuff Shatterpoint is getting of characters where you're like, so you're saying we could have had this in Legion this entire <laughs> time, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, here's one for uh, the Republic that I've always wanted. Uh, okay, so hear me out. If this is a little like dev work for them, but you could do a special forces unit of like Padawan. And it's a melee only unit and they like, it's a group of like four or five Padawans and then they all have lightsabers. Maybe they're not as strong. They could be, you know, like a three die, uh, three dice or something. Each one, you know, you know, you could come up with something really interesting where maybe it's like three white die dice each cause they're Padawans and, they, but you could have like this really cool, you know, and maybe instead of having four slots, they've just got like four stuff just like stapled on to them you know like you could have mm-hmm. like a force pull or something so instead of pushing it can only pull to like you can only pull towards you um that's something neat and like um in in mcp uh they're very specific about pushes and throws and how those work so you could do that in legion and say hey they don't have force push they have force pull and it has it has to move the unit speed one directly towards your like unit leader or something like that you know that would be interesting um i i would love that would anakin get like a bonus attacking them against them yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) or they get a negative when they're facing yeah 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 Yeah. (laughs) um yeah him and like inquisitors and stuff right Uh so like yeah but I, i i think you I think that would be super interesting. And I, I think we're at a point where like, you know, we have a lot of melee units like that you could mimic this after, you know, and, uh, and we have for a while. So yeah, I would love to see something like that. Yep. Um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I, I think you would definitely, I like your idea of some kind of special force ability yeah. rather than just giving them a force slot. You know, do it something like how Grogu has just like a force ability printed on his card. And that way you don't open the door to, you know, yeah. for for what's supposed to be like a cheap, you know, 
100 point right, force unit you, or whatever. Yeah, if you put a, a force upgrade on them, you that you it's instant broken. So yeah, you have to like come up with one that's just like on their card, you know. Yeah. But you could do that. Like that, it's really not that that wouldn't be that big of a stretch. Yeah, I don't and, think so. And I think people would would love that, right? Like to be able to put like you know, Yoda and Obi-Wan and like three special forces of Padawans on the table or so, you know, and like, especially with Genosians out, you know, like you could that whole like battle scene uh, on the, on Genosians, you know, I think that would be interesting. Yeah. Could we put, speaking of, can we put a Geonosian battle force on the wish list? Um, I feel like that was mentioned at some point and then it's it, gotta be it, happening. Yeah, except they haven't mentioned it anywhere in the Geonosian releases. But they didn't so, really mention know. Tempest Force and they dropped it on our brains. That's true. I feel like they mentioned it though. Uh, oh, like they when did. They, first, they mentioned it when they first previewed Ewoks. And oh, then that's They basically right. said nothing at all about yeah. it until like a week before the Ewok release. Right. And they were like, oh, here's Tempest Force. Because I think we did not see the triple ATST. We, we thought it was going to be. Uh, What's her name? Because she was she and and Inferno Squad were both on Endor at one point, right? So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I don't yeah. know. I, I'm surprised. I, uh, I have a feeling like they had mentioned that, but yeah, they could just drop it. Like I, you know, I I don't. Yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right. Do you have any gameplay uh, besides the concept of bands? Do you have any gameplay wish list things? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, keep trying. Try and keep. I'm gonna try and myself keep it non ranty here. So yeah. Um, okay. Mine's real, real bad. Okay. Um. I do not like the fact that the. That the forum admins get to make rules decisions that affect the game in such a way. And I reason I bring this up is there's recently one for MCP, which I thought was completely ludicrous. And it reminded me of all the things that have happened to Legion in the same way. And I'll just the one for MCP was so this new format that they have, right? There's only one of every character now in this new format. So if you bring Captain America. There's no question that it's Captain America, right? Like mm -hmm. it's the one, the only Captain America you can bring is the one from the new core set. It's not it, like there's five different Spider-Mans. and Five different yeah. versions of Captain America. There yeah. isn't. It's just the one version. And they made a form ruling that basically said, you have to use the brand new model. You can't use any other Captain America model, though they have no like silhouettes. They have no, like it's, it's, there's nothing to do with whether like how it's sculpted. There's no gameplay implication. There's no ga no. Yeah. So and you can't have multiple. So it could only be the one. Like it would not be confusing at all. Because there's no other possibility to bring a different version yeah. of Captain America. There's okay. just the one. And because they and so just there's just an arbitrary form ruling that said no, you have to have the model that matches the card. And their reasoning yeah. was ridiculous. And it just reminded me that, like, I hate that that is... A, I, listen, I love the forms. Don't get me wrong. Because we definitely need rules clarification. Yeah. Uh, okay? I just don't like that, uh, you know, force push and the placement of recover the supplies uh, comes to mind as one of the things that was buried within the forums that we found out months and months later that's a huge effect to gameplay and you know i i just can't ha it just it sucks that that is the way that that works without like i think an easy fix would be like a, a monthly newsletter or something or a monthly like or just update the actual rules with that stuff yeah yeah you could do that or like a monthly blog post that just says hey here's what you missed from the forum this month Right. Like, here's some big, big rules changes that we think are going to affect competitive play. Yeah, I, I I appreciate the value of the forums as a thing that has to exist because there's always going to be some gray areas that you need clarified. Yeah, I think the, the, the quote unquote historical use of those was mostly as like a reference for judges for yeah. those gray areas. And if there was like game changing stuff to the actual 
text of the rules or something that like significantly affected how stuff was played it just made its way into an actual rules update right um and i feel like the the forums have become a little bit of a crutch to just be kind of all encompassing like if there's something that's right. not covered in the rule book even if it's something that's really important and sweeping um it just goes in the forums and yeah. you know like there you mentioned the force push thing how about cover as something that like if somebody didn't know how to find the forms, they would probably, and I, I'd wager there's a lot of people still doing it wrong because when you read the actual oh, text yeah. of the cover rules in the CRB and this, you know, it's interesting too, as like a social experiment, how this text, the same text that's in the CRB was posted in their preview article, you know, way back in December before they actually released the whole thing and everyone read it and they were like, Oh, okay. So attacker chooses a point. And then you go from that point to the defender. Um, and when the CRB came out, people were like, oh, okay, so attacker chooses a point. And then they came out with this forum ruling that was like, no, it's actually the entire silhouette to the entire silhouette. And people were like, but that's not what it says. Right. <laughs> um, and that's still, you know, as far as I'm aware, the CRB language still makes it sound like right. you know, maybe that's on everybody in the player base for like misinterpreting what it... But... That's one of those things that if you didn't know that the forums were there and yeah. you didn't know to check for that, you know, cover, which is a completely yeah. intrinsic thing to how the game works. If you didn't know to check there, you'd probably be doing cover completely wrong. Well, and I would I, say I there's a lot of people that are doing cover completely uh, wrong. As yeah, I would agree. Uh, and I would say years ago, you know, I remember I told, I think, a funny thing on here at some tournament I was at. And there was a couple players arguing over the rules. And one player was like, no, they clarified this on the forums. And the other guy was like, what the hell are the forums? Like, he yeah. was like, he genuinely had no idea. And at that time, it was kind of like forgiven because it was just like, yeah, man, like, you know, it's it's all right. Like, here, let, I'll, we'll explain it to you. But now it's like, I just have to have this, like, crazy, like, access to all this stuff. And I have to know that, you know, we as like people who play this game consistently and talk about it all the time, like there's still forum rulings, like we'll be chatting in our internal chats. So we'll be like, no, I got updated on the forums and everyone's like, what? Like, you know, and we play yeah. this, we do this all the time. And so it's wild that like people who talk and play and, and you want the judges to be able to handle that because here's a news flash for you judges if you're lucky know as much as we do about the game yeah and, i mean because generally it is us or or someone like us right and so you know like if there's some abstract form ruling that you know that i don't know that a judge you planned your whole thing and then the judge gets called over and you look it up on the forum and there it is and you're like well but that was a hundred pages deep and I had to search three things and click five to even get to it. Like it doesn't seem very accessible <laughs> to, yeah. to the people. So so the wish anyway, list item here, sorry. I think, is basically to to put like major significant things that affect gameplay and not just like rules clarifications to actually yeah. update the core rules with that i think so stuff yeah okay yeah sorry yeah, uh, i went out i went long on that one. yeah no that's that's uh, that's okay um my gameplay wish list besides new cover rules or old cover rules depending on how you want to look at it um which i won't reopen a rant on <laughs> now uh would be to just kind of like a little bit of a cleanup about yeah. all the stuff that seems like low-hanging fruit you know it's stuff like make payload be able to go over height one terrain um you know two of these are objectives right payload and vamp so make payload be able to go over height one terrain Ooh, make it one. so that um the vap placement rules you got to put one of your vaps within range two of your opponent's deployment zone. oh that's good um so two like super easy fixes that make two objectives that are pretty close to unplayable in a competitive setting like actually yeah. competitive uh, playable again especially payload because payload is actually a really fun objective yeah, and like eighty five percent of the time it's fine, but fifteen percent of the time you just can't score it, right. and that's just not good design. Nope. Um, so those are the, like basically low hanging fruit gameplay changes. So those two, um, make deflect work in melee again. <laughs> um, uh, 
just random like text cleanups like make it so that lead from the front says at instead of within make it so that 3po's guardian ability says at instead of within um uh let's see what else uh there's a couple of random command cards uh like the one pip for echo base which works on operatives but not on commanders unlike mm. every other ability in the game that targets yep. those things like doesn't work on operatives or commanders um you know stuff like that where it's just like just go through and clean up all the little yeah like easy my, to fix stuff that would be like quality of life improvements that are not controversial my hunch on that one was that it was a direct counter supposed to be a direct counter to the original blizzard force with operative vader but it never really was because the problem was Echo Base was never good enough at that point to really like. Yeah, I mean, given how sloppy that release was with like typos and yeah. other stuff. Um, well, yeah, I, I mean, that was right in the transition period between the two studios. Yeah, so, I, th I think that was like the first like yeah. post transition thing. Um, and it, it was messy. So yeah. given given how messy that was, I'm not sure I'd read too much intent into like that card now. Oh, that's fair. Working on commanders, but working on operatives. Um, but anyway, the point is, there's a bunch of like random little things that are yep. not controversial that they could just go in and clean up and would be like significant quality of life improvements. Um, I like that. Yeah. Like yeah. Um. Okay, I have I have another one real quick. Uh, okay. My wish list is. Whatever they end up doing with the cover rules, whether they they update them, fix them, change them, whatever, um, I would love to see um, them come out with terrain like they do for MCP, where it's just like here's the terrain, here's what type of terrain it is, here's what it does, and you're off to the races. You know, because all the MCP terrain is very intentionally designed. Yep. You know, they, they get a little artsy with some of the stuff like the Sentinel pack and stuff is a little out there. But like, for the most part, it's all very intentionally designed for the size of terrain that it's meant to be. And I, I would love to see that for Legion. And and the fact of the matter, as much as I love all the third party terrain makers and what they've been doing, it, it would just be really cool to have official, you know, terrain pieces that you know are are approved <laughs> by lucas you know yeah and like they've done like the crash atst and the bunker yeah and um the X crash X wing and stuff but those are all pieces that are just kind of like blocky yeah show pieces um i think it'd be great if they made some stuff that's just like more functional terrain packs and maybe a little bit more affordable too because those other for whatever reason those other terrain packs are like ridiculously expensive for what you're getting and i'd love to see just like uh you know like scatter like a, like a like a terrain pack that had some scatter and like some uniformly shaped yeah. star warsy buildings in it that's like yeah. a, okay you know here's like six different pieces of terrain that you can actually use in your game as like right functional functional pieces yeah um so yeah i listen i mean yeah, uh, I I think I have a different idea about cover and all that. You know, I, I I as much as I did like the rules before. I mean, if they're gonna head this way, they I feel like we're one foot in, one foot out right now. Like it's like we still have a foot in the old ways, but they also have this new way of doing it, which the new way is effectively MCP, which is just everything's on a 2D plane and you just go cover, yeah. not cover, right? Like, okay, then just just go hard in on that then if that's what you're going to do or don't. Like, I, I don't care at this point. Just pick just pick one of the lanes so that we can all adjust accordingly and stop having to think about it. Yeah. Because it's just and... one of, it's just adding so much controversy. Like, I don't even argue <laughs> with people. I just go, yeah, it's heavy cover. Like, I, I just don't care. Like, like can we just I've... please move on? Yeah, I've noticed I've noticed that a lot where people just don't even want to interact with the process. So like, yeah, whatever, that's fine. That's yeah. you know. Um well, cuz it just doesn't at the end of the day, right? My time is better spent figuring out what else I'm going to do than yeah. trying to like draw lines from every goddamn inch of my silhouette, <laughs> you know, like I just don't have time for that. <laughs> like Yeah. Yep. And it's not easy in real life. It's it's not um yeah i think i don't have a, 
I don't inherently have a problem with the 2D thing. I mean, that's how Legion started. Legion yeah. started in 2D. Yep. Um, but it was center to center. Right. So, like, if you want to do the 2D thing, great. But make it, please just make it center to center. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that it's one line and one point to one point. Um, and if you want to do the 2D thing, I guess that's fine. But the 2D thing where it's like, you know, the entire silhouette, it's just, it's horrible. It's right. a pain in the butt. Yeah. It's not tactically interesting. Um, so. Yeah, it's just an, it was just an odd, like, which, you know, again, was a, was a forum ruling that yep. made no sense. So yeah. anyways. Um, all right. Well, any... I know you didn't want to get too. <laughs> I didn't want to get too ranty in this part. Sorry, yeah, sorry. we had our, we, we had, our, these, are, these are the units we want to see. I don't care. Um, and then we got some gameplay stuff. Yeah, I uh, do you have any more? Hmm. Let me let me think. Um Yeah, I you know, honestly, I would love to see some love and thought put into skirmish. I mean, isn't that kind of what Spec Ops is supposed to be? No. It's completely okay. it's a completely different game, right? It is. Like, yeah. I think skirmish was a good idea. Just I think Alex and those guys would admit that they just kind of threw some stuff together and put it out there and didn't have a lot of time to work on it, you know. And I would love to see an actual like smaller three by three version of the game with the same i think you could do it with the same rules you would just have to update some things you know but like i would just love to see a a, a solid skirmish mode because i think what's i think what what's going to happen here is um i think that I, we're seeing it a little bit but like the loss of attention span and the loss of money uh and the amount of money you could spend on something i think is going to hurt legion in the in the next coming couple of years and so i'd love to see a like a real good version with the same rules the same you know kind of setup with just some modifications uh that are a little bit cleaner than skirmish is now so that we could get newer players in uh because it, it's hard three hours is hard it is, you know, it's, and I know that's what we love. And I'm not saying don't take that. Yeah. Don't take that away from high level competitive. I think that's where high level competitive needs to be. But like if there was a, a real strong skirmish game. You know, it, it's it helps to have that gateway. Yeah. Drug. Um, I mean, right now, I think most most new Legion players that you get are like X 40K players. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Which, you know, that's what I was. Uh, and part okay. of that is because they're fantasy, uh, right? I came from right. fantasy, so yeah, yeah. And but those players are already kind of like bought into the whole concept of like a two and a half to three yeah. hour game. Um, with you know, and uh, like if 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 Legion is gonna consistently steal those players, which it is not doing at the same rate that it used to, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's going to have to be able to compete with their rule set and stuff, and it's you know, frankly, it's not right now. <laughs> um, well, yeah, well, but... I th yeah, you got two audiences, right? You have the audience, yeah. uh, the the war gaming veteran audience, right? That's going to come mm -hmm. over, but I think you also, and unfortunately, you know, I think I think Shatterpoint's eating our lunch a little bit. Is that like you need that well polished skirmish game where people are going to want to play tournaments of skirmish. You know, I know, I know some of you are going to hit us up and blow. I love skirmish. I get it, man. Like, sure. But like, if we want to make it consistent and want more people to adopt it and to like have someone like Kyle actually go, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe I will do that skirmish tournament tournament this weekend. You know, that actually, you know, the new rule set's pretty good. Uh, then, and getting people to play it more, then, then we can transition them into the larger game. But like, you like this. Well, if you're really into it, you should play 800 because it's, it's yeah. great. You it's know? definitely it's definitely something that's an important tool um, yeah. to expand the player base. I will say that there are some sort of core appeals of Legion that yeah. just inherently are not going to translate well to a skirmish format. Of course. Um, but, yeah. The, the, the problem with that, 
that other what is it called i don't even remember what it's called that's, that's how much i care about it it's, yeah. it's because it's it's more of kill team it's basically yeah. a star wars version of kill team which is fine but kill team does not get people into 40k like maybe some but not really it's a completely different game it's like hey did you like this single man like 60 minute game then how about three hours with hundreds of minis it's like no those are two different things i will say there's a little bit of cross-pollination there based on my experience no there is the rules yeah 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 yeah. but but i'm saying like trying to take i know people that we've talked to that play kill team they're like i would never play 40k that looks insane yeah uh where there's got to be a version of skirmish i think skirmish is close right you just just need some tweaking and some and some finesse built in it and it could it could be great i think you could make a version of skirmish where it was still like you know so spec ops is like individual models yeah. uh, i think you could make a version of skirmish where it's still unit based like legion is but maybe just kind of remove some of the bigger heavy hitters and yeah. amp up the gameplay appeal of like the squad based tactics maybe that's um, where it maybe combined to my wish list you could do uh, <laughs> a restricted list for skirmish right like hey here's all the units available yeah for... you can't you can't bring heavy vehicles you know right. you can't bring characters whose point value is more than whatever x right. amount right you can't um, bring creature troopers because they smash and <laughs> yeah skirmish. right you know um, like stuff like that but anyways okay sorry yep um what about you what you one more kyle come on i know you got one more uh one more um okay i would like a rebel force user that is not luke skywalker yeah um ezra kanan old man obi-wan um i look i know ahsoka exists eh. um not the same uh, n- n- no uh yeah because she she doesn't functionally fit that model she's yeah. she's, she's different she yeah and just thematically don't get me wrong i love ahsoka um but i love like clone wars ahsoka the whole like rebels ahsoka thing just doesn't really thematically appeal to me yeah um i don't know no yeah i yeah, feel give it. me give me give me ezra or kanan or old man obi-wan yeah. uh, and look if you do old man obi-wan maybe you could make it so that young man obi-wan can use his command cards and then you actually want to play obi-wan in a republic list too potentially. i mean that would be that'd be the easiest way right like <laughs> like what yeah. we saw with boba fett <laughs> right yeah, to oh, suddenly, you want make, suddenly make Obi Wan good again. Yeah, yeah. you want to fix Obi Wan in in clones? Make a Rebels version and make all the cards available. Yeah, heck, let's let's parlay this into like a broader wish list item and just say like more command cards for existing characters. Yeah. You don't even have to release new versions of the characters. Just release like a command card pack. Right. Um. You know, give Grievous a six command card hand. Yeah. Like you can Dooku, same thing. You know, there there are a lot of characters where I feel like you could just fix them with some more command cards leia leia yeah totally i mean leia sees play and she's interesting but um but you could, well uh, in echo base mostly though right like uh i don't yeah I'm, and uh shit. bright tree village oh right but yeah you don't really see leia in like a quote standard unquote, normal yeah. rebel list um so yeah just more command cards for existing characters you know yeah i like you that know, you, you don't even need to put them out with plastic <laughs> I would say it would be easy. You could just put out a card pack, but they can't even keep the card pack two in stock. So I mean, yeah, can we get more card packs in stock? Dude, you know, so bad, it's so yeah. bad. Yeah. And then effectively, their answer was like, "Well, if uh, if your local stores pre-order them, it's like pre-order them. Like it says out of stock. Like why right. would like I how... order anything? Like yeah, yeah. I, I think the stock answer was basically like, if you can get enough local stores to complain sufficiently." to distribution then we'll consider restocking it and it's like that's that's not okay the answer. i guess yeah um, like there's clearly demand for it so oh, yeah anyway uh yeah. whoops sorry yeah that was a trap yeah. uh it's a trap let's see right. what else yeah uh, yeah i like that i like all that um yeah i think that's good yeah i think that's good all right
Um, well, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, I think we will still have at least one, if not two more episodes uh, before or around Christmas. Um, mm-hmm. Even though Christmas is a thing, uh, we historically have not missed nope. episodes, even around Christmas. Yep. Um, you know, we might do a double record or something, but we will figure out to we'll get you an episode next week. And then we'll, there will also be an episode coming out around the week of Christmas. But I sure will. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure we'll get a chance to wish you Merry Christmas again. But it is officially at least Christmas season. Yeah. So. So Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Happy season. Hanukkah. It snowed in DC today, so oh, that's nice. Yeah, my son <laughs> wakes me up at like five in the morning. He's like, "Daddy, it snowed." I'm like, "No, it didn't." You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm like still half awake. I'm like, "No, it didn't." Go back to bed. He's like, "Yes, it did." Come on. I'm like, "All right, fine." He drags me out of bed to the window. I'm like, "Oh, it did snow." <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's great. All right, go oh, back to bed. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man that's yeah. funny when the kids get old so up here we obviously get a lot more snow but yeah. here at the north pole uh but when the kids get older like they all have cell phones now so uh-huh. we all get the alert when this like school is closed or oh uh, yeah yeah so, like they just don't even get out of bed now like they just like go oh great and then go back to sleep <laughs> yeah you don't even have to tell them they just yeah. automatically know yeah. yeah that's funny yeah yeah so- that's good to know. Well, it was right. nice being back on the Scoundrels for an episode. Yeah, thanks, thanks for thanks for showing up this week. That's... Hey, I'm committed. Yep. Um, and you can of course go listen to Jay on the Fifth Trooper podcast. Yeah, or whenever you want. Thursdays we usually release. So. Yep. All right. Well, we are the notorious Scoundrels. I'm Kyle. I'm Jay. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Stay cool, fruit mat.